I ain't gonna tell you. What? I got hypnotized last night. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Yo, 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 yeah, yeah, to quit smoking. But it's Rose's mom's a psychiatrist, though. Bruh, I don't care if the bitches are Yana Von Zant, okay? She can't fix my motherfucking life. You ain't getting in my head. I know she called me off guard, right? But it's cool because I'm a cure. It worked. Bro, how you not scared of this, man? But they could have made you do all types of stupid shit. They have you fucking barking like a dog. Flying around like you a fucking pigeon. Looking ridiculous, okay? Or... Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak, and in this video I'm going to be discussing the evil side of hypnosis, the sinister side and dangerous side of hypnosis, and I think that maybe some people might know this or may not know this. Uh, what actually causes a person to get hypnotized by somebody who's using sinister motives or has sinister motives. And I want to know if this makes sense to you. From what I suspect for some time now, it seems that fear or the arousal of fear pretty much does it and if you want to take a good look at the example of what I mean by that I really think you should take a look at this and then draw your own conclusion fear activates energy in which the hypnotist with sinister motives will take advantage of. So, let's just see what you think. So what do your parents do, Chris? Uh, my dad wasn't really in the picture. My mom passed away when I was like 11. Oh, I'm sorry. How did she die? Uh, hit and run. That's awful. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. You were young. No, actually, I, I don't remember a lot from that time, so... Mm. Well, that's okay. We don't have to talk about that. So, Chris, what's your sport? Football? Baseball? Basketball, mostly. Yes. You an MMA fan? Dude. Dude, what? What? Hey, Jeremy, why don't we uh, let someone else have the floor for a second? You're dating my sister, right? He's dating my sister. You had your chance. I can't get to know the guy. You mean like UFC? Yes. Yeah, not too brutal for me. You were getting street fights as a kid. I did judo after school, first grade. Aww. You should have seen me. Judo? <laughs> it was with your frame and your genetic makeup. If you really pushed your body, and I mean really trained, you know, no pussyfooting around, you'd be a fucking beast. Carrot cake. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Carrot cake. What did I miss? <laughs> mm. Oh, a whole bunch of nothing. You talking about sports? Hey, yeah. Yeah. It's good. So the thing about jujitsu is your strength doesn't matter, right? It's all about this. It's a strategic game, like chess. It's all about being two, three, four moves ahead. Cool. <laughs> if you stay 
stand, stand, stand up. Gary, uh, no karate at the dinner table. It's not karate, Mom. Do I got a rule? No, no, no play fighting drunk dude. I don't play. I'm just kidding. Jeremy. I wasn't gonna hurt him. That's just an example of what I mean by fear. Or making someone nervous or making feeling making them feel uneasy, apprehensive, or to even make them cringe and like what the fuck? That kind of thing. Because when the arousal of fear or nervousness happens, it activates negative energy a powerful energy in which the person who's doing the sinister hypnosis needs to take advantage of and once they do it they pretty much got you under their spell because they use power of suggestion when there's enough fear then they're able to do it. The more fear that's aroused, the more energy, and because of that, the more power they have over you. So the antidote to that is to control your fear. It's a bitch and a half to do, but not impossible. Here's some more examples. Do you realize how dangerous smoking is? Yeah. Come in and sit with me, please. Just for a little bit. Please. You want to know how it works? to watch in front of people's faces, is that it? <laughs> you watch a lot of TV. <laughs> when I was a kid. Ah, uh, now you're feeling very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> we do use focal points sometimes to guide someone into a state of heightened suggestibility. Heightened suggestibility. That's right. That's right. Do you smoke? In front of my daughter. I'm gonna quit, I promise. That's my kid. That is my kid. You understand? What about your mother? What about her? Wait, are we? Where were you when she died?
was in front. How do you feel now? Those are the examples of what I mean. Once fear is activated, aroused, they have more power over you. Because it's a very powerful energy. Just like any other negative emotion, anger, depression, jealousy, sadness, whatever you want to call it. Any number of things. But fear is the most powerful. It emits out more energy when, you, when that happens. The more control you have over your fear, the less control the hypnotist with sinister motives will have over you. And that's really what I suspect, strongly suspect. And with the cigarette smoking, why it was so forbidden to, to use it was because of the fact that it calms your nerves. And that's why they wouldn't allow it. Because people that smoke cigarettes, it calms their nerves. It helps, it helps them to make more, more tolerant to fear. That's my suspicion. That's what I, I don't smoke, but that's what I suspect. So drop a comment, tell me what you think. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say, questions, the whole thing. And to all of you, take care. <laughs>